Problem 1A. What is the difference between a number line and a directed line segment? Solution. A number line has numbers on it, and a directed line segment does not have numbers on it. Problem 1B. What is the difference between natural numbers and integers? Please be specific and use examples if necessary. Solution. Natural numbers are composed of positive whole numbers. Integers consist of positive and negative whole numbers, including zero. Integers are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. From our examples above, the natural numbers are 1, 2, 3. Problem 1C. What is the difference between ascending and descending order? Give examples of both cases. Solution. Ascending order goes from lowest to highest. Descending order goes from highest to lowest. These orderings represent opposites. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 represents numbers in ascending order. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 represent numbers in descending order. Number 2. Which of the following numbers are natural numbers? Answer T for true or F for false. In problem 2a, 0 is an unsigned number. It is neither positive nor negative. Therefore, it is not a natural number. The answer is false. In problem 2b, 0 0.75 is a number expressed in decimal form and hence could not be a natural number. Thus, the answer is false. Using the equality relations greater than and less than, show which one should be used to accurately represent the following situations. For example, 1 is less than 5. In problem 3a, negative 17 is less than 0. Remember, negative numbers are always less than 0. In problem 3c, 27 is greater than 4. In problem 3D, minus 1,000 is less than positive 1 because positive 1 is on the right side of 0. Problem 3G. Positive 1 is greater than 1 half. Earlier, we learned that the further a positive number is from zero, the greater its value. Therefore, positive one is greater than positive one half because it is further from zero than positive one half. Problem 3H. 16 divided by 18 is the same as 0 0.8A. And 14 divided by 12 is the same as 1.17. Therefore, 0 0.88 is less than 1.17 because 1.17 is further from 0 than 0 0.88. Problem 3i. 3 fourths is the same as 0 0.75, while 4 fifths is the same as 0 0.8. Therefore, 0 0.75 is less than 0 0.8 because 0 0.75 is closer to 0. Problem 3J. 7 fifths is the same as 1.4, while 1 eighth is the same as 0 0.125.
Therefore, 7 fifths is greater than 1 eighth. Problem 4. Draw a number line that goes from negative 10 to positive 10. Graph the following numbers. 5, 0, 4, negative 7, negative 1, negative 9, 3, 7, negative 10. After graphing the numbers, use the graph to write the numbers in ascending order. Solution. First, draw a number line that goes from negative 10 to positive 10. Then graph the points on the number line. Finally, read the graphed numbers off the number line from left to right. That is, negative 10, negative 9, negative 7, negative 1, 0, 3, 4, 5, 7. Problem 5. Evaluate the following. 5a. The absolute value of 0 is always 0. The distance of 0 from 0 is 0. Problem 5b. The absolute value of a negative number is a positive number. Remember, absolute value is concerned with distance and not direction. Minus 18 is 18 units from 0. Thus, its absolute value is 18. Problem 5J. The absolute value of 10 is 10. Minus the absolute value of 10 is minus 10. Problem 5L. The absolute value of minus 9 is 9. Minus the absolute value of minus 9 is minus 9. Remember that the minus sign outside of the absolute value symbols is unaffected by the operation. Problem 5R. Minus the absolute value of negative 70 is minus 70. Problem 6. Identify which class the following numbers belong to. Use the following abbreviations to denote your choice. P for positive, NN for natural number, ALL for all categories, NA for none of the above, N for negative, INT for integer. For example, minus 1 is a negative number and an integer. Classify the numbers as directed in the workbook. Problem 6b. 1.4 is a positive number. Problem 6c. 3 fourths is a positive number. Problem 6D. 2 is a positive number, a natural number, and an integer. Problem 6E. 0 is an integer. Problem 6F. Minus the absolute value of negative 3 is negative 3. The solution is a negative number and an integer. Problem 6G. The absolute value of 0 is 0. 0 is an integer. Problem 6H. The absolute value of 1 is 1. 1 is a positive number, a natural number, and an integer. Problem 6M. Minus the absolute value of 0 is minus 0 which is an incorrect representation of zero. The answer is none of the above. Problem 6N. Minus zero is an incorrect representation of zero when zero stands alone. It incorrectly identifies zero as a negative number. As previously stated, zero is neither positive nor negative. The solution is none of the above. Problem 6O. The plus sign in front of zero incorrectly identifies it as a positive number, which it is not. Zero is neither positive nor negative. The answer is none of the above. Problem 6R. 
minus the absolute value of 1.8 is negative 1.8. The solution is a negative number. Problem 6 is, minus the absolute value of negative 9 is negative 9, which is a negative number and an integer. Problem 6U. List the classes of numbers which cannot coexist. A number cannot be negative and positive at the same time. A natural number and a negative number cannot coexist. 